up for sale now vehicle max of a beautiful 2008 toyota tundra crew max that's the one with the larger rear doors limited white on the outside with red rock, red rock leather interior with a factory powered moonroof toyota racing development off-road package heated seats leather front and rear parking sensors 18 inch alloy wheels five inch polished aluminum step bars color coder fender flares and a number of other options that we'll get into in just a minute it has a clean title and a clean carfax you can view right now for free at our website vehiclemax.net we're located at 3200 northwest 37th street miami florida 33142 is our zip code open monday to friday from 9 a.m to 6 p.m saturdays 9 to 5 and we're always closed on sundays we have been in the car business since 1992 and have sold over 31,000 cars we are an accredited member of the Better Business Bureau with an a rating. You can check that out for yourself at our website. Right on the home page is a clickable link to the Better Business Bureau site, which will take you right to our rating. If you have any questions, feel free to call me. My name is George. I can be reached at 305-218-5462. It also has a 5.7 liter V8, four wheel disc brakes, tire pressure monitoring sensors, tires that are nearly brand new, just installed maybe have a couple of thousand miles on them at the most. Again, the heavy duty to uh, towing, um, the heavy duty uh, step bars. And the sharp looking interior here. Bucket seats in the front. Door panels are charcoal and uh, red rock also. Does have the JBL top of the line stereo sound system. Memory seats for up to two drivers. Of course, you got power windows, power door locks, screws control, tilt wheel. Got pockets here on the side here for storage, and a couple of bottle holders here in the, in the bottom. Uh, we got a driver's side power seat, power recliner, and lumbar support. Got a uh, power tilt wheel. Okay, you got to turn on the car for this to work, but it also goes down, up, and also telescopic, meaning in and out. Power mirrors with power folding mirrors. And it also has the uh, factory floor mats with anchors. It has, it has also uh, curtain side airbags. I believe, where are they? Oh, they're in the front, sorry. Front here. And there's one other one here in the rear post. Well, there's one also in the seat and one in this post over here. And I'll show you back there when I get back to that section of the vehicle. Let me go ahead and get inside and get it started for you. Sure we get the AC going. And uh, let's put it low so you can hear me talk. Let's put the fan here at speed number two. All right, let's start off with the moonroof so we can get a little bit of lighting here for the video. All right, it is a glass moonroof. It is tinted, but also has this hard cover that blocks out the sun completely. You can tilt it or slide it. We're going to slide it now. And it's a one touch. You don't have to hold it for it to slide back. Okay. Um, all right, um, got uh, remote controls for your stereo here. Let's uh, raise the volume here. Actually, let's find a little better station here. One with more mellow music here. All right, so you can raise the volume right here. Of course, it had to be in a commercial. All right, raise the volume right here. Okay, uh, the mode I believe is to change you right now. We're on uh, FM1, so if I press mode, we just move to uh, let me see if we can get the glare off FM2, AM, and back to FM. And that's uh, pressing the mode button here. These here are to navigate by your preset stations, those are the ones that you set here yourself, which of course can be changed. On the left hand side, also, once you pair your phone, this is where you answer and hang up the phone. You have answer here and hang up the phone for your Bluetooth. You got voice command on this side here, and in here is your cruise control. I uh, got a towing haul mode, which will make the transmission shift a little differently in order to adjust for the extra cargo and disables the overdrive. Got a power sliding rear glass, and let's demonstrate that for you now. Okay. 
and the rear glass is not only tinted but also has a rear window defroster. It's your traction control and uh, over here on this side you got also um, lights for your cargo area and this is here is for your dome lights. It's a leather wrapped steering wheel and I'll pan around it nice and slow so you can see it's in perfect shape. No cuts, no tears, no burn holes, no stitching coming apart. Nothing like that, just in really, really nice condition. Alright. Um, Alright, the vehicle has 93,568 miles. The car is running right now. Keep an eye on the tachometer on the left hand side of your screen. I'm going to rev the engine. 5.7 liter V8. And the reason I'm doing that is just so you can see that the car is running and idling perfectly and that there are no check engine light on, no airbag light, no service engine soon, no maintenance soon, nothing like that. Uh, the only thing that lights that you have up there are the seatbelt light because I'm not wearing my seatbelt to shoot a video and the fuel uh, light because the vehicle is kind of low on gas and no other lights over here either. Up in the top here you have a, uh, the, the uh, current temperature and the current time. Let's pan over the dashboard now so you can see it's in great shape. No cuts, no tears, no burn holes, no cracks, no lifting up anywhere. Just in really, really nice shape. Whoever had this car took really, really good care of it. All right, um, on the top here, we got an auto dimming rear view mirror here that senses bright lights. So if somebody puts the high beams on you, it will darken the mirror so it doesn't bother your vision. On the upper right hand corner of the mirror, you got a compass that lets us know that we're pointing or heading in the east direction. The three little houses you see there, that's your home link or universal garage door opener where you can program up to three garage doors or gates if you happen to live in a gated community. Alright, uh, you got dual climate control. I got them both at low now, but for example, if I want to put the passenger side at, let's say, 73, what that does is that makes the AC vents over there and that side of the vehicle blow at 73, while this one here and this one over here will blow at maximum low. Let's put it back down to low because it's nice and hot outside today. Alright, uh, you got heated seats. Okay, you just run the little wheel up and you see it lights up there and you can, you can gradually control how warm you want it. And of course you got the same thing on the driver's side. Your auxiliary port for your iPod. Cigarette lighter. Okay. Um, cup holders here in the center. Alright, and then actually you have like a little storage beneath here. Okay, a little coin tray here or you can put your cell phone there got a automatic transmission okay has a, the same leather the same color of the interior here uh, let me show you how the automatic transmission works reverse neutral and drive yes that's obvious but if you want to make a shift manually you can push the lever over to the left and then you would um you know if you can see that plus and minus there if you tap up it shifts up if you tap down it shifts down let me show you what that looks like in your display over here put it back to drive and then I'm going to move the lever over here so you can see how it works. So we're going to drive now. I'm going to push the lever over. And now if I tap down, it's going to shift down. If I tap up, it's going to shift up. All the way up to 6 SSSA 6-speed six automatic transmission. Every time you tap it up or down, it shifts down or up one time. Clearly nothing's happening now because we're not moving. If that doesn't interest you, push the lever over to the right. And the 6-speed automatic transmission will do the shifting for you. Okay. Um, put this back in the park all right uh, the driver's side window says auto that just means it's a one touch you don't have to hold the switch for the window to go down the mirrors have turn signals and if you can see that they are also heated that little emblem there okay um, all right let's see here so got a bunch of stuff to show you okay and the center console here which is rather large uh, you have a, a storage so you can lift this up here and then you have a uh, cigarette lighter adapter in here also here for your charges and if you don't want this in this and actually be removed okay all right you got a two-tier glove box the bottom tier which is the big section there which right there in there is your owner's manual with its casing and all supplemental booklets that you need for the vehicle's operation up in the top here this is more of a um, like for maps or magazines correspondence smaller stuff all right um, it does have a uh, six disc CD changer, WMA MP3 players, okay? And again, it's also the uh, JBL sound system, okay? So it's got the top of the line sound system. Up in the top here, we got map lights on either side, a pocket here for sunglasses, and then you get your sunroof switches, which this one's to slide here, and this one's to tilt only if you want to vent. 
This pops open into a credit card holder, not credit card, I should say a business card holder. And uh, before we conclude up here, let's uh, pan over the passenger seating area now so you can see it's in great shape. Then we'll move to the um, cargo, to the rear passenger section of the vehicle. All right, so let's go ahead and turn off the car. <coughs> oh, I uh, forgot to show you the tail wheel. Let's, open this. let's do that really quick here. All right, when you turn off the car, the tail wheel tilts up so give you a little, to give you a little room to get out. Okay, and once you stick the key in the ignition, it goes back to the position you set it on before. So you tilt down here, tilt up, okay, and it's telescopic, meaning you can make it go in or out toward you. It was all already in, all the way in, and up see all the way out, and now it's all the way in. All right, so let's turn off the car here. Okay. Again, limited version, crew max, with I'm sure you can tell from here that the rear door is actually larger than the front door, okay? And uh, I've got the front seat, I think, all the way back, or almost all the way back, and look how much room you got here. It doesn't maybe look like that much room in person, but uh, even if you put a six, foot, a six foot five guy back here, there's no way his knees would even come close to touching the back of the front seat. Okay, in the back of the center console, you got a set of AC vents for the rear row passengers and another cigarette lighter adapter here. For your chargers, you got map lights uh, up in the top here, dome lights. Like I was saying before, you got curtain side airbags for the rear row passengers as well. This is a five passenger vehicle, two in the front and three in the back, and they all have an over the shoulder belt, including the middle row passenger, which uses this belt here. If you don't have a middle row passenger, you flip this down and use it as an armrest and cup holder. Okay, you got also anchors for your baby car seat, there are two on each side. So you can fasten down your baby car seat should you need one. The rear door panels are the same as in the front. Black with the orange or baseball, or red rock, whatever you want to call it. You have bottle holders here. This vehicle is equipped with a child lock protection. I'll show you how that works. You flip this little switch down or tab down. And what that does is that disables this inside door handle. That's in case you got little ones and you don't want to be able to open the door from the inside. Once you engage that, the only handles can open the truck is the outer handle. To re-engage for adult passengers or bigger kids, flip that up, and this handle will start working again. All right, um, let's move on to, by the way, this seat, I don't know if you notice, it has a track here. So if you sit here, you pull up on this tab, and you can slide the seat up and back, okay? In case you want to access something in the rear back there. All right, um, when I said color-coded fender flares, this is this has been these large flares that were from factory. Again, like I said, the tires are nearly brand new. You can still see that little rub around there. And they are 18 inch uh, alloy wheels, or aluminum wheels, with tire pressure monitoring sensors. You got the um, front and rear mud guards for the, for the splash guards. And it's a TRD version, which is a Toyota racing development off-road package. All the tail lights are in perfect shape. They're not damaged or scuffed in any way. They're nice and clear. You got a class four heavy duty towing package right there with the electric connection there ready to go for your, all your towing needs. Right rear tail light, perfect shape. Bed liner, it's a little dirty, but it's in good shape. And you get anchors. There's four of them. The two on uh, the, the two on each side, so you can slide them up and down those tracks to tie down stuff. And you can also move them. There's another track up in the front over there. All right. Um, I told you we got parking sensors in the rear bumper. The rear tail light. You can even tell this, uh, these tires may not even have a thousand miles on them. This is what I'm talking about, this little rubber here. This is, uh, these tires could maybe have maybe 20 or 30 miles at most. And again, the uh, heavy duty five or so, I think these are six inch uh, polished aluminum. These are for factory, by the way. Right rear door panel, same way. I'm sure by now you notice that none of the panels have any cuts, tears, burn holes, cracks, no scratches, none of the speaker covers are damaged. Got the factory floor mats back here as well. And you, of course, you get anchors on both sides. Let me give you a look at the headliner from this angle here, so you can see it's in good shape. No cuts, no tears, no burn holes, no stains. It's not sagging anywhere. These pockets are also nice and tight. You know, they're not um, they're not stretched out. Factory chrome door handles and mirror caps. Right front door panel, same way. Got the bottle holders here, pocket. 
and not only do we have a power seat and power recline and lumbar support on the driver's side but also as you can see on the passenger side <coughs> All right, before we conclude this video, I want to talk to you about financing. If you require financing, let me tell you, we have excellent rates for good credit. We also have special financing for not such good credit. We even got some programs for really rough credit. If you're concerned about the financing, you live a long distance away, or you simply want us to get you pre-approved before you come over, just go to the website, vehiclemax.net. Right on the home page, you see a silver tab that says apply for credit. Click it, fill it out completely, click submit at the bottom of the page, and then give us a call so we can retrieve your application and get you pre-approved. That's going to do it for the video in this unit. I want to thank you for watching our video at vehiclemax.net.